Hello everyone, this is Mar Haddad. Today I have to show you how you can block WhatsApp. So in case, uh, for example, you don't want to allow your users to use WhatsApp, whether you are an IT administrator in a company or you have a wireless ISP, possibly that some of your customers say they doesn't want to use WhatsApp, then you want to do this configuration for them, then uh, I'm going to show you that in this lab. So before we start, first I have uh, here collected the IP addresses of the WhatsApp servers. Actually, these IP addresses are the same for Facebook because you know WhatsApp and Facebook they are one company. So what I have done here, I have collected all those IP addresses of the WhatsApp servers. And I have put them, or I would like to put them inside a uh, um, address list so I call it Facebook. You can call it Facebook, you can call it WhatsApp, whatever, because all those IPs are for WhatsApp and Facebook. So all those are the server IP addresses for WhatsApp and Facebook. So what I'm going to do now is just, I want to add those inside an address list. I will call it Facebook, and then I will apply a filter route to stop WhatsApp. So that's, that's the idea that uh, I'm going to do. So if you want, I can show you that how what is the address list. If we go to the IP firewall here, and this is the address list. You see, I have for TikTok, I have, uh, let's see, I have for Twitter, those IP addresses. But for WhatsApp and Facebook, I don't have. So the address list is nothing more than you just create here an address list. You give it a name, for example, Facebook, and you put the first IP for the first server. Then you do the second, then you do the third, and so forth. This will take a lot of time. So instead of doing that, I have written already this inside this script. So I will leave this script for you. So uh, then you can just copy and paste and then uh, put it on your router. So I'm going to select everything, what you see here. All right, so we go down to the last line and then I will copy it. This is an Excel sheet here. Um, you can just copy that. And after that, you can go to the Microtech router where you want to apply this uh, filter rule and then you have to go to the new terminal and you just paste what you have copied over there so you can see you are making now all those uh, servers to be inside the facebook list all right so we wait until this is finished and then we have to check if everything is okay so now this is finished now let me go to the ip firewall and if we look to the address list, we can see the Facebook here, but also if you want to just see the Facebook, you just click over here on Facebook, then you can see all the IP addresses for the Facebook servers, which are again for WhatsApp, they are listed over there. Excellent. So now what I need to do is to apply a filter rule against this address list. So we have to go to the IP, we go to firewall, and on the filter rule, I have to create a new filter rule. I have to say, any traffic which is forward. Forward chain means that it is uh, going from my LAN via the router to the internet. All right, because here I have to say what is the LAN. So if you look here uh, on my IP address, my LAN is the bridge interface, which is 10.0.0.0. So I have to say anything which is going to the internet from 10.0.0.0, that means my LAN. And where it is going, it is going to the address list on the destination Facebook. So again, I'm saying here, anything which is coming from my LAN, going to the internet, and going specifically to the IP addresses that I put them inside the address list called Facebook. So that means the servers of WhatsApp. Then the action is to drop. You see? So again, last time, any traffic going from my LAN to the internet and specifically going to the WhatsApp, so the address list Facebook that I have created, then do drop for them. And then, okay, and now that's it. So now let's justify if the WhatsApp is not working anymore. I do have two phone numbers. I'm gonna write from one of the phone number, which is connected to that network. And uh, if you want, I can show you that. Let's go to the wireless on the registration. Actually, the device is not provided really from this uh, Microsoft router. It's from another device. But anyway, it's getting an IP from 10.0.0. something. We can justify that from the HTTP server lease. So I do have two phones. You see those two phones. Uh, this is the Note 8 and this one. Yeah, those two phones I have. On each of uh, those phones, I have 
uh, WhatsApp uh, because those are two uh, different numbers, one for my personal use and one for my business use. So I'm going to go to this one, the Note 20 Ultra, and uh, I am uh, going to write to Note 8, all right, on WhatsApp to see if it's gonna work or not. So let's try. Let me just open my phone and see if, yeah, okay, so uh, here it is. Let's have a look, yeah. So it is now, uh, you can see that uh, before I have written and it was possibly working. So let me just make it like this. So it was working, you see here, test was sent. Now, if I want to write another time, test, enter. Look, you see that it's waiting, 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 and the message is not going. You see that? So the message is not received by the other side. And if you want, what we can do, we can check over here on the firewall. Look, you see that he's dropping the packets. So packets are being dropped and it's not going to, uh, the, the, uh, the, the message is not going through. While if you want, what I can do also, I can open from my phone. Uh, let's I'll go back to the phone. And I'm going to this application. It's the same phone where I wrote on WhatsApp. If I test the ping to go to a.a.a.a, .a .a .a, you see, I do have internet. The internet is working. But what is not working is only the WhatsApp. Because I only said that anything going to WhatsApp doesn't work. So, yeah, you can see that uh, this is really working the way we want. And with this way, you can also do the same. I do have other videos showing about uh, TikTok, which I have a filter route for it over here. So uh, you can also check it. You can do the same for Twitter because I do have also here, I have seen on the IP firewall. So here we can see on Twitter, you see those are also Twitter IP addresses for the servers. So this way you can do blocking, but more than that, if you don't want to block. So for example, on WhatsApp, I don't want to block. I want to do a priority for it. So then you can also apply some priority, but then it's a different configuration. You can possibly provide some bandwidth for WhatsApp that is allocated to WhatsApp. So no matter what, you do have this work bandwidth for WhatsApp. So it's not only to do firewalling, but also you can do quality of servers. Or maybe you want to send the WhatsApp traffic if you have a connection to two ISPs. You want the WhatsApp traffic to go from one ISP and the rest of the traffic to go from another ISP. That's also possible you can do that. It's not only about WhatsApp. I'm talking here about any different type of traffic that you want to do. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this uh, lecture. So I, I hope uh, this lecture was informative for you and I will see you in another lecture.